Hi, welcome to Solution in YouTube channel. In today's video we will learn about forward exchange contracts. A forward exchange contract is a contract made now for the purchase or sale of a quantity of currency in exchange for another currency, for settlement at a future date, and at a rate of exchange that is fixed in the contract. A forward contract therefore fixes in advance the rate at which a specified quantity of currency will be bought and sold. The purpose of a forward contract is to fix an exchange rate now for the settlement of a transaction at a future date. This removes uncertainty about what the exchange rate will be at the future date. Currency risk is a two-way risk. By arranging a forward contract, a company can hedge against the risk of an adverse movement in the spot exchange rate up to the date of settlement, but at the same time it loses the opportunity to gain from a favorable movement in the spot rate. Forward exchange rates are determined by the current spot rate and differences in inflation rates between the two currencies. A forward exchange rate may be higher or lower than the spot rate. When a currency is more expensive forward than spot, it is quoted forward, at a premium to the spot rate. When a currency is cheaper forward than spot, it is quoted forward, at a discount to the spot rate. For example, suppose that the spot rate for Swiss francs against British pound, is 1.4460 to 1.4560 Swiss francs per British pound. A bank would sell 20,000 Swiss francs at the spot rate now, for 13,831.26 British pound. Under a forward contract for settlement in three months' time, for 13,623.98 British pound. Assume the three-month forward rate is 1.4680 to 1.4800 Swiss francs per British pound. A bank would buy 20,000 Swiss francs at the spot rate, for 13,736.26 pounds. Under a forward contract for settlement in three months' time, for 13,513.51 pounds. In both cases, the quoted currency, Swiss franc, would be quoted forward at a discount to the spot rate. Forward exchange contracts are legally binding contracts. They hedge against transaction exposure by allowing the importer or exporter to arrange for a bank to sell or buy a quantity of foreign currency at a future date, at a rate of exchange determined when the forward contract is made. The trader will know in advance either how much local currency they will receive, if they are selling foreign currency to the bank, or how much local currency they must pay, if they are buying foreign currency from the bank. Forward contracts are very popular with small companies as a method of hedging currency risk and taking away uncertainty about the exchange rate. The current spot price is irrelevant to the outcome of a forward contract. Let's take an example. A UK importer knows on the 1st of April that they must pay a foreign seller $26,500 in one month's time, on the 1st of May. They can arrange a one-month forward exchange contract with the bank on the 1st of April, whereby the bank undertakes to sell the importer $26,500. The bank's forward rate for one month is $1.4396 to $1.4504 per British pound. Because the importer is buying dollars and the bank is selling the dollars, the appropriate rate is 1.4396. The UK importer can be certain that whatever the spot rate is on the 1st of May, they will have to pay at this forward rate. The cost in pounds will be 26,500 divided by 1.4396, making 18,408 pounds. Let's see the outcomes on the 1st of May. If the spot rate is lower than 1.4396 on the 1st of May, the importer would have successfully protected him against a fall in the value of pound, and would have avoided paying more pounds at the spot rate to obtain the dollars. If the spot rate is higher than 1.4396 on the 1st of May, the importer would pay more at the forward rate than if they had obtained the dollars at the spot rate on the 1st of May. You cannot avoid this extra cost because a forward contract is binding. By now we have covered how forward contracts work. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you in next video. Take care.